think you might be you're the first person on this podcast who's not somehow related to SUNY Geneseo. <laughs> guess I'm a guest star. Yeah. Well, because we've just been, you know, dipping yeah, into yeah. our own like social circles for Sense. guests because we mm-hmm. have no influence and it's all just been Geneseo people. Yeah. No, I've. Uh, I think I drove through the town of Geneseo for like one of the first times in my life a couple weeks ago. So. She's, and, uh, she's small, isn't she? Yeah, no, she's cute. She's cute. <laughs> quick she's really drive. Tiny. Yeah, it's a very quick drive. But we yeah. have some, hopefully, fun questions Sounds slated good. for today. I say hopefully because my faith in my own abilities is... <laughs> Confidence is key. I have faith <laughs> in your abilities. Okay, well, that makes one of us, so thank you. <laughs> All right, let's let's get controversial. I think to yeah, begin. Right. Great. Can start. Cheetos be considered chips? No. Well, it's a corn product, so so I mean, if we, if we want to do the, the the Cheeto tortilla chip dichotomy here, um, but when I think of chip, I typically think of something of the flat variety, something that you can perhaps dip with nice crunch. Whereas a yeah. Cheeto has has more of that three dimensionality, more of the uh, more of a texture going on, although due to its its roots in uh, in corn, like like many other chips, I I think it, it's it's certainly up for debate. But I I wouldn't consider it one. I guess I would just I I would call a Cheeto a snack. Yeah, I was gonna say it's in, definitely in the snack family, mm-hmm. um, and it's I'd say more of a cousin to the chip. Like whereas a pretzel, yeah, like yes. <laughs> pretzel is a different, it's still in the snack family, but like not related not not blood related like step step family yeah yes exactly (laughs) married into yeah but chips i'm i'm with you that they should be like flatter like there's different kinds like potato chip or tortilla chip yeah then you got like the scoop chips that yeah i mean that that is a tortilla chip yeah those are all plays with that a little bit Mm -hmm. but but like a cheeto is just related but different Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, I wouldn't consider Cheetos chips, and I agree with the flat thing, but I feel like there are some small exceptions. For example, kettle chips, sometimes they get all crumpled up. This is true. But it's still a chip. Yeah, but I feel like those are- It still began flat, though. Yeah, like, like their intention was to be flat, but, like, Mm -hmm. they just got all, like, crumpled up in the process. They they, they 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 succumbed to to the pressure (laughs) of the oil. Yeah. (laughs) Seems fair to me. Happens to the best of us. I gotta say, who is out there classifying Cheetos as chips, though? Yeah, this is Something had to inspire this question that I found <laughs> on Reddit. Oh, man. This is... I don't know. I hope they're okay. Yeah. I mean, would you're you... are out there, would you, you consider... need someone to talk to. So, like, you see, I see the link in between that question, like, Dorito chips. Because, like, they're coated in, like, like that powdery That's true. stuff and That's so are true. cheetos so i can see someone being like all right well doritos bridge the gap it's like evolution like <laughs> the <laughs> evolutionary <laughs> chart of yes. from potato chip to cheeto so like i could see how one would like misinterpret that but like the, the cheeto and the the chip are are not brothers nor cousins like they're no no they're cousins we established because they're both corn based but mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I'm actually not a huge fan of Cheetos. I don't think they're that good. I, Unpopular opinion. Uh, no, possibly, no, it's, but... it's fair. I, I, I do enjoy a Cheeto. I feel like I hadn't had a Cheeto in a while, and then like, you know, quarantine, lockdown, all that stuff, and I was like, I don't know. I think I need to like bulk order Cheetos from the internet. So did you actually? I totally did. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so that's so, kind of fantastic. Yeah. So I feel I like it. I've like eaten more Cheetos in the past like eight months than I have, and probably like, the rest of my life combined. But when it comes to Cheetos, wow. I, I prefer like the crunchy ones rather than like the chippy ones. Do you like the flaming hot ones? Isn't that I'm a not variety? like a huge? I'm not like a huge fan of the flaming hot ones. I'm usually more of the just straight up Cheeto. Mm-hmm. cheese flavor i don't know the other one's like it's like that like weird artificial spiciness yeah i don't know i don't like i my family just never bought cheetos and yeah. like they're not yeah, bad same. but like if i'm at a party and they're there yeah i'll grab some but like i won't go out of my way mm-hmm. to just some i gotcha one of my college friends would always dip flaming hot cheetos into sour cream whenever she got stoned honestly that sounds good checks out you get a new 
it with the dairy and stuff? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's genius. Yeah, I I know. Know. She's, her, she's probably her goals were beyond like... my understanding, but she enjoyed it. <laughs> my daily, what, half gallon of seltzer, probably. Stay hydrated, gotta do it. Hydrate or dihydrate, frankly. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely drinking a beer right now, but you know, finals week, you know how it goes. Oh, I love that for you. Yeah, yeah. you, yeah. you We're deserve just gonna... it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I should hide this or not, but yeah. Oh no, there I've got go. okay. There's We're footage of me on this podcast cracking a white claw before. Don't I'm you cool. worry. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, unless we have anything more to say about um, snack classifications and families, we're gonna take a hard left turn. All right. We're good. That's good. Yep. So okay. Good. So, would you rather be able to breathe underwater or fly? Hmm. This one's easy for me. I'd rather fly. Yeah, I think the answer is fly for flying, me as well. Flying would be cool, but I feel like breathing underwater is more, like, practical. Like, what if you're drowning? But I think flying I mean, would be cooler. Correct. But, like, True. if it was just, like, as, like, a power or whatever, I mean, like, I'd rather be, like, flying. I don't know, man. I'm not trying to, like, get that up close to, like, you know, some weird fish. And, <laughs> as my, and I, do, I do love the ocean here. Like, mm -hmm. I'm... I think it would be cool if you could breathe underwater and, like, go see, like, reefs and stuff. But my thing is that by the time you start getting down to any, like, to anything cool in the ocean, the pressure's gonna kill you. Yeah. Mm, so I feel dark. like, un <laughs> like, unless, you know, this is, like, specifically for, like, going to see, like, the Great Barrier Reef or whatever, because, you know, people snorkel that and all that mm -hmm. fun stuff, I feel like it's kind of useless. Yeah. No, I, I think flying would be would be cooler. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not really trying to like be underwater that long. Or like, if you if you if you are like, just put on scuba gear, you know. But like, mm -hmm. like you can put on scuba gear, but like you're probably not gonna be able to just like put on a jetpack. Yeah, and like the thing is, again, by the time you could get to anything cool, you'd be needing scuba gear yeah. and like submarines and stuff anyway. Yeah, and you set of lungs. See, like for me, I'm thinking about it in a practicality sense, and like, how often and. I like surrounded by water like you know like I'm not mm -hmm. out to sea quite too often nor am I like even at like in the water at the beach or pool because like summer is only three months so yeah. like like I, if I could fly I could beat traffic and just like fly over the cars and like use that as my method of transportation from like place to place yeah, valid point for sure. For yeah, sure. where I am currently, definitely flying. Although, if you lived in like Hawaii or something, mm -hmm. then I feel like that adds a new dimension to. Yeah, and like you're very being able to breathe underwater, right? About like, you know, you you're limited in a sense breathing underwater because other things would kill you possibly, <laughs> or like yeah. you know, like you can't see when you go deep deep down into the sea, or you can't like, like the pressure would have impact yeah. on your body i'm sure there are limitations with flying though like there probably are think, like but... flying like superman and like yeah the speed of light and like can go wherever but i'm sure like if we were gifted the ability of flight could we only go so high could we only go so fast yeah like i feel like i'm like not really trying to get into like, the stratosphere or anything like i'd probably just be kind of like <laughs> yeah that chilling honestly doesn't maybe, maybe like 50 fun. to 100 feet above the ground or something like mm -hmm. that not, nothing too wild not trying yeah. to get into any average, weather systems. average skydive height tops yeah 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 yeah. that's it that's all i really need i just you know i want to mm -hmm. get places slightly faster maybe have a fun time doing it get a nice view Beat the traffic. Mm -hmm. All those fun Gotta things watch you can geese, potentially though. do. Oh my god, what geese? Geese yeah. and swans are terrifying. They are mm. they are ferocious creatures. Like they wake up every day and choose violence. <laughs> they do. They really do. <laughs> Specifically, yeah. Canada geese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, quick, quick, quick offshoot about Canada geese. I was discussing with someone the other day. <clears throat> like, are there are there American geese? Like you know like do do these geese like do, do the canadian geese have like work visas do they do they have to like cross the border every every couple of days like i don't know what what's the immigration status i mean they on? could easily cross the border seeing as they are geese exactly exactly but like you know like they're canadian geese but like i only see them well probably because i live in america but like 
definitely because they live in America, but like, do we have geese? Do we have our own geese or do we just have like import geese? Yeah, all our geese are at McDonald's right now, like <laughs> yeah. in the parking lot, yeah. <laughs> eating fries. <laughs> eating fries, chasing toddlers, yeah. You know Untitled Goose Game. Oh. The uh. accuracy. The accuracy. <laughs> It is a lovely morning in the village, and you are a horrible goose. Oh my gosh. I get so, to meet someone who their favorite animal is a geese or a, a geese, a goose or a swan. <laughs> like, I love ducks because I think they're Ducks cute. are cool. They're I adorable. Like, a good duck. They're chill, but like, yeah. geese are mean, and so are yeah. swans. Very Apparently, hostile. Apparently, like, and I'll have to, like, do a little bit of research and find out if this is true and then link that in the, in the description, but apparently according to what i know from the movie hot fuzz like the queen is the legal owner of all swans in the united kingdom dude some of those uk law laws are like pretty weird yeah they're good for wild. her though good for her is and, she like, building I, an army like i have no a idea but if army. Is, i don't i cannot verify if that's true and i'm not going to do it right now because i don't feel like it <laughs> but I hope to God that it is, because that just sounds excellent. <laughs> what a silly, pointless law to have. Love it. Love it. That's I what they want. Like, what was the genesis of this law? Like, like that's why, what they... Yeah. What did this, like, have to happen? Like, they want us knows? to think it is a silly law, but little do we know, <laughs> like, they have some sort of, like, superior geese army that they are just waiting to unleash on society. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the United States has like has military dolphins probably military. Wait, when it like leaves? i'm i'm almost certain that's a real thing <laughs> animal warfare more things N- nuclear resistant to... dolphin oh stuff God. probably i don't know if it's quite nuclear resistant but like that's what they want you to think yes really. <laughs> all these conspiracy theories oh i love a good conspiracy theory i was watching the new like i walked through the living room this earlier today while my dad was watching the news and Justin Trudeau was on and I just like offhandedly comment I was like you know I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually Fidel Castro's son like somebody pointed out my dad's like wait what oh my gosh he doesn't know enough consp- like I always will like I love conspiracy I when I say I love conspiracy theories I don't mean like you know the ones that are destroying our country yes love them doesn't like necessarily a, mean believe them like yeah like yeah. i feel like that like it's it's sad but that's a distinction you have to make these totally. days uh-huh. yeah you really do no i, I, God, I love it like just hearing I'm people so, out like wow i'm so entertained by like a good wild conspiracy theory and like the ones where it hurts absolutely no one to just kind of believe in it for yourself mm-hmm. for funsies even though you know it's probably not true yeah like, ugh, oh, I love those kind of things. Like, ugh, oh, favorite one. I will defend this until the day I die. Leah Michelle is illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole video about it, and I have to find... That's good. My That's friend good. found it once, and then we could never find it again. But they lay out such a convincing case. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyone else here have some conspiracy theory hills that they will die on? Um... I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I take them and process them as they come to me. Like, I'm not out here like, searching for conspiracy theories. That's fair. Theorists. Probably a solid way to live your life. I feel like the ones that I'm more affiliated with, more familiar with, are ones that are, like, extremely niche to my very small group of, like, art students at my particular university. That I would make that sense to absolutely nobody Frankly. else, but... Where, yeah. where do you go to school? I go to Buff State. You know, Buff State. So, yeah, so... SUNY Buffalo State. SUNY fan, that for, for sure. You. Yeah, it's good. Works out. Almost done. Real close. Jotting down things that I have to link because I always forget. And it always <laughs> winds up being, like, these really weird combo of words, to, like, just enough to jog my memory. So it's like legal owner of swans <laughs> military dolphins who owns the swans, the show who owns the swans? <laughs> okay let's see what's next oh here we're going back into back into food questions yes so here's the thing a tomato is technically a fruit Correct. It has so seeds. what what does that make ketchup? 
I know it's a condiment, but like I have heard people refer to it as like a, a smoothie, smoothie yeah, or a jam. Right. A jam. What? Honestly, I feel I feel like jam makes more sense than smoothie. I mean, yeah, yeah, but like, but I'm not gonna call it that. A jam it is just like a feel preservative right. of like some sort of fruit. Yeah. Well, tomato's a fruit. Oh, yeah, but it's is it preservative? I have absolutely. Is no it idea. in? I don't a, even like ketchup. So in a jelly. I, I mean, ketchup is like tomatoes. There's some like vinegar, various seasonings in there. I think I don't know what else. Um, but yeah. like. Not ketchup. enough to classify it as a smoothie. Like I feel like if it's a smoothie, it's gotta be like, you know, with like water or milk or something like that, and like yeah, usually okay. some the other fruit. Argument. I will agree that is right out. That's Cancel. something. And like you shouldn't drink ketchup. Like it's too viscous to drink. This is true. Um, when I was yeah, younger, no, the smoothie thing is just something you say to piss people off mm-hmm. and then you leave. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, first off, I put on ketchup on everything. Like basically every food I eat no, and no. ketchup is pretty dope i, no, I put thing. it on you say that lot. i know a girl who puts it on watermelon oh mm-mm. that feels really okay cool. I'm, I'm sorry like <laughs> not everything not watermelon this year notwithstanding because of covid but every, they're family friends and every single year we've done something called second thanksgiving which is exactly what it sounds like but it's just less formal and she sits at the head of the table with a giant ass bottle of ketchup and puts it on absolutely everything. Like when you say you put ketchup on everything, no, you do not. You have not <laughs> met this girl. All right. Well, besides fruit, I put <laughs> it, well, uh, watermelon ketchup on a good amount. Um, yeah, quite a few things. I when I was younger, I ketchup past any thumb. Like it was bad. <laughs> it was so problem. disgusting. <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't say I was like eating smoothies back then. Or yeah, this eating is true. Um, ketchup is. I don't know how to identify it other than it's a condiment. Like, what would you call mustard yeah. and mayo? Yeah, like, I, I was gonna say it's like a it's like a close relative of mustard. You know, yeah, and, and consistency and kind of tangy. I mean, again, vibe I agree they're all condiments, but like when people say jam, I cannot. That's like a jelly, like a, a I, jelly I something. I cannot list points to definitively prove them wrong. I but can. Yeah, I don't know, man, because it is like preserved fruit that's like you know squished down and like I was gonna, I was thinking like, well, jam comes in jars, but there's like that like smucker stuff that comes in a squeeze tube that you like squirt out like you would ketchup for jam. So I don't know. And like also, I'm not like... gonna go around calling ketchup a jam, but like the argument kind of holds up. Yeah, maybe like, that's my like, thing. Like, am I gonna say anything about it? No. I'm not saying they're right, but, like, maybe... I can't say they're wrong, either. Yeah. Maybe like, it's I like can't a... definitively say that they're wrong. Maybe it's, like, a savory jam. Like, because jams are sweet, and... That's a I mean, point. the consistency is different, though. It's a jelly. Like, yeah. ketchup is not a jelly. So that's I feel true. like that's where... At least Although jam I... and jelly are different things, and... Jam I, and... That's another thing that I will, like, be... Jelly, oh like a lot of distinctions to make (laughs) pedantic about because it's not the same like putting like jelly on a croissant versus putting jam on a croissant or like a scone is a whole different ball game i literally don't use the word jam i call everything jelly (laughs) except like marmalade that is just marmalade (laughs) i have rarely ever had marmalade but the times i don't like it's been good Yeah, I like some orange stuff. It's been pretty alright. I like most things that you can put on toast. Yeah, really. I I'm just a big fan of like like... marmite and vegemite. I don't really mess with that stuff. Yeah, no, no thanks. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I mean like, yeah, not for me. I'm too American for that. I wish I wasn't. (laughs) I wish I was worldly and. I saw some cool people like, and... my toxic trait is that I'm an American. Yeah, my toxic trait is that I'm an American. Yeah. Oh my god, this past weekend I was I was watching, like, a 24-hour, like, charity live stream by this, mm-hmm. like, podcast production company I really like. And they're all British. So, like, you know, there's people in, like, the Twitch chat or whatever, just, like, whenever they're, you know, making their random little, like, just British cultural references. There's a bunch of people in the Twitch chat, like, I'm American, can anyone explain? I'm just like, god, I hate that this is me. <laughs> let other people do the asking but yeah i'm like i hate that i have to ask this 
Because we're already so just, you know, everything about us. I hate having to be like, I don't understand, I'm American. <laughs> I think that has, like, intensified, like, a hundredfold since this pandemic. Totally, like, totally, yeah. Like, oh, God, like, Literally, I'll be from like, anywhere else. <laughs> talking to, like, I, you know, whatever, I'll embarrass myself. I, um set my tinder location to st petersburg because oh uh, yes um, these sad stories are good <laughs> but like when people message me and they're like where are you from I'm like oh god <laughs> i'm yeah, american yeah. i'm sorry <laughs> although shout out to the one guy whose opener was i hate americans they're vermin <laughs> and i was like Okay, well, I'm American, and then he tried to backpedal, so I blocked him. It was nice. really funny. Good stuff. I was like, listen, bud, I got some critiques of us, too, but, like, really, that's how you're gonna start. A little start. harsh, a little harsh. <laughs> a little harsh, just a tad. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that was interesting. How did we get here? Marmite. Ketchup. There Ketchup. we go. Yeah. <laughs> Things to put on bread. But, you yeah, know, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to agree with your analysis that I'm a fan of, like, not analysis, your opinion, that I'm a fan of, uh, most things that go on bread, besides mm -hmm. the aforementioned. Yes. Yeast extracts. <laughs> Who decided? That I don't that know, was man. Gonna... Just they, were, they looked yeah. at that and they were like, yeah. That's the same shape. What? So salty. So salty. Oh, you have tried it? Yeah, I did. I, I... My, my my one friend's husband is Australian. Gotcha. Yeah, they do they do Vegemite in Australia and then Marmite in the UK. I want to say. So yeah, yeah. we've been Vegemite that I tried, and I'm good. I've done my time. <laughs> <laughs> I paid my dues. Yeah, no, there's this one YouTube channel I was watching, and they like you know get fan mail and stuff, and they were doing like a fan mail opening, and like somebody from Australia sent them like Vegemite, mm -hmm. and they tried it, and they were just like I. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. I feel like you have to, like, <laughs> you, you've, you've got to have, like, the, the palate for it. Like, I don't think, like, I feel like no person who tries it in their adult life enjoys yeah, you it. Like, have you, have to, to, like, grow you have to have grown up with yeah. it. And there, like, there are a couple foods like that in, in like, Russia. when we were in Russia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I was just like, I'm, like, I'm sorry. It's yeah, too yeah, late. Yeah, not for everyone. <laughs> too much mayo for one person, like. Ooh, mayo? Yeah. No. Have you ever it is a, Eastern Europe? Yeah. Eastern European cuisine is pretty heavy on the mayo and dairy in general. Dairy in general. Yeah. The sour they sour cream. They do it they do it well. A lot of smetana. Yeah. But to be fair, like I just like in my regular American life also. Yeah, here's the thing. Sour my cream. body is just a vessel yes. for sour yeah. cream and yeah. dill at this Absolutely. point. Absolutely same. <laughs> but not yeah. sour cream and Cheetos. Um, I do no. it. I do it for sure. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I would try it, but much to think about. Probably after like half a bottle of wine first. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be. Because like that, that's not that. a sober snack. Period. Mm -mm. <laughs> not at all. Okay, so this is kind of tangentially related to the ketchup thing. Um, how do you define a vegetable? Because there is no. Like, there's a scientific classification or, like, a series of traits that says that something is a fruit. A vegetable is just something we made up. Mm. Interesting. How do you define a vegetable? Um, I cancel out everything else. It's not a fruit. Canceled. So, like, fruits have seeds. So that's how I know it's a fruit. Um, it's not, like, a bean or what are those called? Like, leg legumes. Legumes, yes. Like, if it's not that, oh, okay. So it can't be a vegetable if it's in the bean family. Mushrooms okay. are in their own class, so mm. those are not vegetables. And then, are there any survivors? Whoever is left, that can be a vegetable. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I organize it. I think I just kind of break it up into black and white fruits and vegetables. So like I like I would be like I know that like legumes and like mushrooms and stuff are like subcategories. I think I still consider those in the vegetable family. So I guess to me, a vegetable is anything that's not technically a fruit. I also feel like vegetables tend to be more savory, whereas fruits generally are a little bit on the sweeter side. That's fair. Um, you got more of that, uh, what is it, glucose? Is that the one? I don't know. I, 
I echo. Sucrose. Like a real long time. Sucrose? Yeah, one of those. One of the, something ends in O's, you know? One of those natural <laughs> sugars. Um, but, yeah, I feel like vegetables are tend to be less sweet. I mostly agree with you, Lauren, except for the mushroom thing. Okay. I don't know why calling a mushroom a vegetable just does not feel right to me. You no, know, I guess that's a valid point, though, because, like, they don't, they grow so They're differently fungus. than anything else. Yeah, this yeah. true. And I know that things like, you know, beans are mm-hmm. legumes, but, you know, when my mom's making dinner, the, sometimes the vegetable for that night is some, some string beans. Right, 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 right. And mm-hmm. I think of that as a vegetable, yeah, even too. though I know it technically isn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, at least for the beans, like, if it's in a green casing of some sort, like, sugar peas or, like, snap peas, I feel like those I consider vegetables, mm-hmm. but, or, or, like, string beans, whereas, I don't know, just, like, kidney beans, and, like, oh, no. That, that's these, a good point. Are, I hadn't thought beans. about that. Yeah. Yeah. If it, like, something that comes in a can. Yeah, true. Although, um, hot take, peas are the worst vegetable. Not snap peas, those are fine. Really? But, like, but, like peas a spar- up. Asparagus. Oh, I hate them. I love asparagus. Cool that's my peas. favorite vegetable. Cool asparagus. Wait, that's your favorite? Yeah. You like that's you take. grill that shit with a little Ooh. olive oil, salt, and pepper. Delicious. I'm pretty here for asparagus too. I didn't like it when I was a kid, but Thank I'm, you. I'm pretty into it. Now. I didn't like it when I was yeah. a kid either. Yeah. But I I'm only making eat it a if it's like concentrated effort to be less cheese. picky in my <laughs> adult life. Um. I like Brussels sprouts though. They will get a lot of hate, yeah, but yeah, no, I like sprouts, good, again tiny cabbage. Any vegetable that you like, if you just roast it with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with that. You really I mean, cannot go wrong. I mean, there are some I don't personally love, mm-hmm. but like turnips? again, how do you feel about turnips? I don't know. I feel like I've only turnips? had turnips probably like less than five times. I mean, the, I feel like the, only, take it or leave it. The only, only time way. I really have them is in a salad, like chopped up. Oh, interesting. I think the only way I've ever had them prepared was kind of like mashed. Yeah, mashed. And that's a that's something about that kind of texture. I'm sorry, I I'm... wasn't a huge fan. Although I do love mashed potatoes. Exactly. It's like, but like I feel like nothing else should have the texture of mashed potatoes. Yeah. It's like. I'd like to. Exclusive to potato. Remove myself from the turnip train. I was thinking of radishes. Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> The old, the old I found, it, I found so. an error. <laughs> <laughs> the turnip right. train has left the station. <laughs> I didn't get not crazy different. about radishes though. I don't I'm cool like with it. radishes. I don't know. I like, find sometimes I feel like I'm like I'm eating a salad. I'm I don't need that kind of like. Not to, when, they're like kind of bitter. When I think yeah. of radishes, I think of like this is straight up rabbit food. Like yeah. I, I like vegetables. Radishes is just like. Mm-mm. They don't really mm-hmm. have much going for them. I feel like I usually eat them in like the context of like dipping into hummus or something like that. Mm. Yeah, I'm but, not like, crazy I'm about hummus have... for okay. texture reasons, Fair. but I feel like things like that is mm-hmm. where radishes belong. It's a good. It's like it's like a vehicle for the hummus, you know? Oh, like, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> a conduit. It's, it's like... So many good foods, really, that are just a vessel for whatever you'd rather be eating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's. Yeah definitely a lot that falls into that category of like not really great on its own but like really does support the weight of I can't you know, stand hummus. alone but yeah. with a partner really <laughs> form of cracker. Mm-hmm. no I, I eat crackers by themselves I love crackers yeah I do okay yeah I'm not I, gonna lie. I do love a good plain carb you like can't, Ritz, go wrong with Ritz, like a the whole cracker. sleeve is gone easy easy <laughs> oh my god I gotta find this tiktok but like a couple some people bought like unconsecrated communion wafers <laughs> and just like tried them as like a vessel for various like dips and they made like nachos out of them and apparently the nachos kind of slapped i don't know i feel like i'd be into that yeah yeah i'm not gonna lie communion wafer TikTok. <laughs> this list just gets weirder and weirder but yeah, no, I would definitely be there for that. And also, like, you know, Lady, Ver- Lady Bird vibes, first of all. Yeah. The scene where they're eating the unconsecrated <laughs> uh-huh. communion yep. wafers just out of the package. <laughs> <laughs> and also, having been raised Catholic, something about that just, like, really appeals to me. <laughs> Not even in a religious context, just in a, in a chaotic sort of context. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, uh, like... 
half my family's like diehard Polish Catholic, but like I wasn't really raised with anything super particular. But I remember being like a kid at being at you know some distant relatives like funeral, and I you know I never went through communion or anything, and neither did my dad. But my, my mom and like everyone else in in the pews got up to to receive communion, and my dad was just like, hey. You want the cracker? <laughs> like, you want to go get, you want to go get a cracker? And I was like, oh yeah, I want to go get a cracker. So, <laughs> just like going up to do that. But that's fantastic. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Tangentially related, another thing I have to find. There's like some post on Tumblr or whatever. It was like my neighbors were like Syrian Orthodox Christian or something, and people would like like different people would take turns baking bread to be used as like the communion Mm -hmm. but one time somebody brought in raisin bread so the priest (laughs) had to say that like every like this except for the raisins is the body of christ (laughs) except for the raisins except for the raisins that just kills me so much (laughs) these are unholy raisins (laughs) right although honestly like you're kind of speed run it like that's kind of a speed run type thing because like instead of wine that's true bread, that's a good point two in yeah. one speed yeah. running you're speed running communion essentially <laughs> there you go body that, and blood that's a good all way in one yeah mm, delicious that and did anyone see on i'm just like thinking of random tangentially related things today i don't know what's going on mm-hmm. But like uh, a priest baptizing, doing a socially distant baptism with the squirt, with a squirt gun. gun. Yeah, that's pretty oh, good. Oh yeah, I <laughs> loved say. that. That was so funny. I think we should just keep doing those just for funsies. Yeah, like, can there, we keep that? There are certain things from this pandemic I think we should take away and do. Yeah, like when you're sick, you should wear a mask, and like yeah. when you're getting baptized, the priest should squirt you with a squirt gun. <laughs> yeah. Um. Also. This whole mask wearing thing in like the cold, windy weather, it slaps a lot. Right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like my face like, is warm. cozy. My, my, my nose is very toasty when I'm like out in like the bitter cold. It's kind of nice. Like, can, can yeah, we have that no just be like a winter really. thing once this is over? Yeah. That See, and, I appreciate um, it. Being able um, to get alcohol delivered to your house. <laughs> I appreciate the mask in the winter because I'm not a scarf person like i don't mm-hmm. like things around my oh, i know I sometimes scarf people... i know like people sometimes put it over their face like you know prior to the season to stay warm but um like the mask really works out for me because it covers my face and i don't have like that feeling on my neck yeah well the thing is i kind of agree with that because <clears throat> last winter we went to new york city and like you know me and my mom and my sister we just walked around and did all the you know touristy new york city things you do type stuff yeah things one does and it was for, like absolutely freezing and super windy and i was always like you know pulling my scarf up scarf up over my face but it would always fall down and i'm like Damn, we should do something I, about this if i had a like i would have been so much more comfortable if i'd had a mask mm-hmm. and it, like don't enjoy, like don't enjoy wearing them absolutely everywhere yeah but i mean it's not like ideal but like I'll do it. I can get like behind them family, being, you know. <laughs> yeah, that. But I could get behind them being uh, a Regular. winter mm-hmm. accessory face protector <laughs> yeah. thing. Get like in a fleet slide one and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. yeah. That kind of slap. Onto something. They should make ones that match your. Well, they probably do that match your scarf. So like you had got the whole set. Ooh. Like it could be a winter accessory, like mask, scarf, like gloves or mittens, hat, like. Not bad. I think we I think we found a business venture, ladies. I know. Yeah, I think, I think something to do here. <laughs> I like that. Although today I did feel like I felt like real hot shit because I had to go to the craft store, you know, as one does. But I had a like a red plaid mask on, which sort of matched my pants. Nice. And I was like, God, look at me go. Coordination. <laughs> <laughs> right? It feels so good. I was like, wow, I must I look so cool. Yeah, I have like navy blue and black ones that I rotate through. And pretty much all I really wear is blue and black, so that works out just fine for me. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I, think I, I, I like haven't cause... really been like working during most of the pandemic, but like I, mm-hmm. I will be again soon. So like I feel like, I feel like I gotta up my mask game a little bit, <laughs> you know, really accessorize with it. 
I dig that. Yeah. Yeah, I have a couple plaid ones, because, um, plaid is, like, my personality at this point. <laughs> plaid is my personality. I like that. <laughs> but I do... There we go. Episode title. Plaid is my personality. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. But I do have some, like, kind of dark, neutral tones that I do rotate through. Lovely. Lovely. I have a nice black one. Just keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Matches with everything, basically. Um, I for you. Yeah. I have a lot of, like, of the medical standard ones as mm-hmm. well. Just, I don't know. Throw those in the mix. My dad has the, like, he wears just, like, the medical ones. Mm-hmm. Which, like, you know, is fine. We, like, managed to get a couple, like, a, not like a, like, not, like, stockpiling ridiculous yeah. amount. Like, yeah. a couple boxes. Just, you know, be safe. And he barely ever changes. Oh, no. I'm like, sir, why did we buy all these masks? <laughs> I mean, like, you can probably, you know, if you're not really doing much, you can probably go a couple of days or whatever if you aren't really going many places, but, like, probably not much more They start that. to, like, get gross after a while. Like, yeah. I I reuse those because yeah. I don't think, you know, you don't I don't think to... you need to dispose them every time. Well, yeah, you that's the thing. Like, you can run out to the grocery store. store real quick. Yeah. Like, you can definitely use that a couple mm-hmm. more times, mm-hmm. but, like, it, like, sits on the yeah the gear shift in his car <laughs> oh <laughs> i i um, yeah i keep like one in my car that's like the emergency one but otherwise i just try to keep them like hanging nicely aerated like in mm-hmm. the house and then i, I deal with i have them everywhere like i have like a like a backup one that like stays in my like purse if i ever like you know am in a situation where i like forget absolutely mm-hmm. everything else but like there's one there's a couple like in the glove compartment in my car there's ones hanging behind me back there. <laughs> they are everywhere. <laughs> like, I don't think the lid on the piano in my house has been opened in months because there's just piles there's mask of masks on it. it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not that it ever got opened all that much beforehand, but like, <laughs> still, it's a lot. Especially because my mom, like, handmade a ton of them. Oh. oh. She can make. I mean, the, you know, uh, go Kathy. Big points for uh, sustainability as well. But like, oh my yeah. god, so she, much more than four people need. <laughs> she can start the business of the matching hats and other winter accessories. Yeah, yeah there you go. We so we got, the, got the production set up. Nice. <laughs> Boom! Solid ideas. Okay. So, here's the next one we've got. Is there really any difference between a couple, a few? and several yes and then, yes. then follow-up oh, big yes explain i yeah i'm ready to defend this big okay two. go for it yes. a couple, few at least three but like no more than six and then several i okay. feel like is like several is similar to to three but a, a little bit more volume i think yeah. well okay. yeah actually i do agree if someone says several and there's like three i'm like Mm-mm. That's just a few. Several is like yeah. no more than five, I'd say. Okay. But I once asked my mom, "Is several seven? Because I wasn't. Yeah. I'm like they sound similar, and she's like, "No, several is like a little less than seven. Well, oh, maybe okay. up to seven. It, yeah, I feel like it'd be up to seven. <laughs> few is up to th- maybe like a few is up to four. A few is three, four, few. and then yeah. several is five to seven. Then what's a couple? Couple is two. Just two. Can't be more than that. That's what makes sense. That's literally the de- like a couple. Two. But you know what? I feel yeah, like I totally. Say, like, as I've I think some... about this though, I've definitely used a couple more. Yeah, let's say like a couple times. And I mean like maybe there. three or something. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Language is fake. I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is, but you know, it's. Fu- That's why we're here to yeah, get exactly, into this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I feel like when people are asking specifically for quantities of something and they say couple i will never give them more than two because like they're to me they're asking for like two things interesting so like if they challenge me on that i'm thinking like of all my customer service days um (laughs) um but like if they say oh no i wanted more than two i'm like okay you said a couple but i can keep going (laughs) oh see i wouldn't have i wouldn't have bothered because you know i don't want to deal with customers for True. I than absolutely didn't, necessary definitely didn't say it like that because uh, you know customer service people said the customer is always right but honestly i have no. never met a more oh, consistently no. incorrect group of <laughs> yeah. people 
than the customer. Yeah, very true, very true, yeah. Mm -mm. When I'm working, I'm always right. That's how it goes. <laughs> I'm on the clock, I'm Yeah, right. it's like, I spend all goddamn day in this store. <laughs> Who do you think knows it better? The middle-aged white woman. I'm sorry, Karen, you, you know better than I do. Actually, a position just opened up. Here you go. Yeah. Here's my Here, job. I just quit. Take Here's my name tag. tag. Yeah. God, I do not miss working retail. And if I have to go back... Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. That would be... That could be an entire episode, just retail no horror, horror stories. stories. Yeah. Oh. oh, I We've could We've all got them, on. for sure. That we do. Okay, um... A lot of food questions this episode, but that's fine. Do you... When you get a burrito bowl, do you shake it before you start eating it, or just attack shake? it? No, I've never yeah, shaken. Like... I've, like, maybe stirred around a little bit with, like, a fork, but I don't oh, think I've ever shaken oh, I shake. I shake that boy. Shake. That's interesting. I've, I haven't heard of this, but I like this is... Gotta get it all distributed evenly. Yeah, People do that smart. with Chipotle Sounds bowls good. a lot. Yeah. I personally am not a shaker. I just eat it how it's presented to me. But I'm with you. Like, I stirred around a little, especially get, if there's, like... like, a nice even bite of stuff. Yeah. Like, just trying like, to eat, like, sour cream. Yes, especially, am, like, like you said, <laughs> when there's sour cream on top and, like, avocado, I don't want to eat just, like, spoonfuls of that. So yeah. you gotta, like, even it out. What is our preferred utensil for burrito bowls? Ooh, fork. Spoon. Oh. <laughs> I'd say fork, for myself, personally. I, feel, I don't know if I've ever eaten one with a spoon. I feel like I've just always gone with a fork. It, it depends what it's... Well, I mean, in burrito bowls, I guess you're either getting rice or quinoa for the most part. So, yeah. I just think those are easier to eat with a spoon. Although I know, like, if you're getting meat in there, that's harder. Yeah, so. that's valid. A spork would be very useful in this scenario. This is true. This this is really this is the this is the spork's time, time to shine. Time. It really is. <laughs> yeah, I would say like burrito bowls and things like mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. The ultimate, like the ultimate yeah. food for sporks. I agree. I, I guess cheese. like stew. Stew. That's true. Because like stew is like sort of a soup, but sort of not a soup. You know, it's like, yeah. There's like a little bit of liquid in there, but it's yeah. primarily a solid food. I'd say so. God, my mom makes some baller beef stew. Nice. Now I'm just thinking about it. I'm Very thinking about tasty. borscht. It's gonna be borscht time soon, man. Ooh, borscht, beef, borscht time. Beef borscht, beef borscht, beef borscht. I haven't had borscht literally since uh, Dutch Nikki. Since <laughs> yeah, literally since Dutch Nikki. <laughs> since I was in Russia. Yeah. Oh, those were the days. Those were the days. Although I did find a place nearby where I can buy like all my good snackies and nice. frozen pelmini. Nice, nice. Which is just oh man, I haven't had those in so long. I made them sustaining me when I like first got back, but I haven't. I don't think I've had them since. But there is like a like a singular Eastern European grocery store in my like broader geographic region that yeah, it's it, like it, kind of a hike. It is limited limited yeah. pickings here, but mm -hmm. there's a place close by enough where I can get like. Pelmini and Gotta do it. Marmelade, which I'm absolutely oh, yeah. addicted to. Nice. <laughs> Can't stop. So sorry to up. like exclude you, Maddie. <laughs> so I've haven't tried many of the things you're saying, but I am open to trying them and they do sound good from how you describe them so far. Okay, well good, because that's yeah. like an entire episode proposal. <laughs> Great. I mean like you really like as far as like, you know, Pelmini and stuff like that go, like you basically every culture was like you know what we should have this like pasta puck and we should put like meat or like cheese and potato or something Ooh. in there like like every every culture is like this is a good yeah, idea every, i've every been to single... poland and the pro oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah wait I, you I've, what i've been to poland oh dope i didn't i, I, did, I did not know this research. oh, nice. <laughs> oh that's my, how that's did my, i not know about this <laughs> that's my, that's how does that never come home. up i don't know <laughs> Nice, man. Nice. Yeah. yeah. No, never been, but but I make a lot of lot, a lot of pierogs with the, with the mm. fam here. Stock <laughs> They're very freezer. good there. Yeah, I do not doubt that. Last time I had a good one. <laughs> <laughs> haven't had a haven't had a good pierogi since uh, <laughs> since, since Krakow ever since the war. <laughs> Although again, I do be missing that that real the real authentic pelmini. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Incredible. You can't, you can't, you can come close, but you know, never quite. The, the, again, the like the frozen ones, very, very close. Mm-hmm. But God, he's just something a little, a little extra. Something's off. A little extra something. <laughs> I had no idea you went to Poland, and I'm yeah. shocked that that's never come up with just yeah. How I went. Often I... I went. Um, well, I went before college, um, and it was on a, a church retreat. So, back in my my church days, I, <laughs> I was a church days. Yes. No, I was a a youth leader at my church because my friends helped out there as well, and like that was our senior trip. Well, not trip. It was for church related reasons we went so i did get to see the city a good amount but also like we were also praying a lot indoors which i mean i i'm i'm not about that i don't really (laughs) practice religion anymore so in the past life yeah still that's cool yeah it was a great experience and i'd love to go back yeah i'm like low-key trying to move to st petersburg for a little while if you know we're ever allowed to leave the country again yeah, okay. I mean, looking like, I mean, like, vaccine and stuff like that, it's looking like summer might be an option. Like, NYI 2021 probably will be happening in person. Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. Although, mm-hmm. I don't know how much that would help me because I am yeah. younger in school. Yeah, that, that is valid. Rip me. Oh, well. Yeah, pain. <laughs> Hopefully figure that out. <laughs> a little later. Other Maybe. Time. Did we have anything else to say about burrito bowls? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think so. I think I've said we my We traveled around the world with that one. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, really. Uh, That's pretty impressive. Nice. All right. Yeah, we can do... We got time for one or two more. Now I gotta go dip into the big list of just questions that I haven't assigned <laughs> to any particular day. Let's see what the best ones are. Okay, this is interesting. So would you rather live with a- Thank you, mother, for texting me. (laughs) Although, that is my own fault for keeping my sound on. (laughs) What sound effect? (laughs) Oh, it's like the the telegram noise. Oh. Nice. Like it. I like it. (laughs) Very nice. Anyway, would you rather live with a ghost who cooks delicious meals for you every day, or who cleans your home every day? I like to eat, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say the food. I would have to say food. Like, I can vacuum on my own. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, a good cook, but, like, I like clean. it when other... Yeah, exactly. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Every single day. But, like, I do like a good meal, you know? The ghost right. can do the clean, uh, the cooking, and I'll do the cleaning. Like, yeah, I'll do dish balance. clean up. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of fine with it. That, like, sounds like a really ideal situation. I just need to find a ghost. <laughs> Right. <laughs> try and try and make contact with the podcast ghost. The podcast ghost. <laughs> Two times yeah. when we've um, brought up ghosts on the podcast, now we've had like technical difficulties. Interesting. Interesting. It's the ghosts. So, they, they like to nice. visit us from time That's to time. Kind. We're thinking it might be connected, maybe potentially. Has anyone here ever seen a ghost? I don't know if I've seen. I, don't know, I feel like, like like when I was like pretty young, like right after like my grandfather died, I feel like I saw him around a bit, but like, um, not in a malicious way. I don't know if I've like seen things, but like I, don't know, I feel like I've had like over my years a few run-ins with like you know slightly paranormal experiences. Not like anything too crazy, but like seems fair. You know, yeah. Hmm. I think I, I saw have a very no small ghost in my s- kitchen once. Hmm continue i had no spirit <laughs> spirit encounters as of late oh, rip. <laughs> that except the podcast that. goes except the podcast goes it always makes me think of that whenever i bring anything up like this it always makes you think of that john mulaney bit where he's like well here goes nothing you ever seen a ghost because this is where we're at <laughs> in our relationship as a mother and son <laughs> <laughs> oh man I love John Mulaney. I know, I gotta, I gotta do a good rewatch of some of his, like, Netflix specials. Also, I, j- I need more Mulaney content in my mm-hmm. life. Yeah. The more four, can't have the four specials that we have are just not doing it for me anymore. <laughs> it's 
serotonin, please. <laughs> please, sir. Can I have some serotonin? <laughs> Although season four of Big Mouth did just drop. That's what I heard. I, I, I never, I haven't watched any of that. Um, I, but I don't know. You know, winter break, I pandemic. Maybe it's I time. haven't either, and you know, I, I've heard it's funny, and I just can't get behind the animation. Like it looks, I'm not, you like, know, the animation is like, mad ugly. Like, yeah, <laughs> I feel that. I, I, it's a big turnoff for me, yeah. and I'm sure the content is great and funny. And apparently it's supposed to be, like, very true to, like, a middle school, mm -hmm. like, day-to-day -day life. But it's so ugly. Yeah, speaking no, the of, animation is mad of, ugly. Yeah. But it's, like, I don't know. I think it's kind of worth it. Yeah. Maybe I'll like, dive. Maybe I'll dive it's, in. She's real funny. Speaking of so. speaking of middle school, have you guys watched Pen15 at all? I have not. Oh, oh man. I gotta tell you, that, that's my stuff. That's that's it. I, I love that. I totally do. Like, okay, give me thirty year old seventh graders in the year two thousand. It's perfect. It's perfect. What more do you need? Like, uh, that does sound uh, funny. It's some pretty. That sounds stuff. pretty funny. Yeah. No, what I I've been that. um, just like distracting myself from the horror of my existence with <laughs> in uh, quarantine has been like eldritch horror podcasts specifically. Into it because you know. That's apparently a subgenre. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I know. that's I'll, apparently I'll what I'm doing to... with my life now. There you go. Good for you. I look at like you know my Spotify life and it's like well podcasts spent. we think you might like, and I'm like, and some of them are just like so out that I'm like, I think I might like that. I think I right. Might. <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, that's what I've been doing with myself. I gotta turn off the space heater. I'm cooking. Hold on. <laughs> Love that for you. In my basement. There we go. We're good. I wish I had a finished basement, or even like semi-finished. Mine is just a death trap. Nice. Yeah. Uh, my, mine's been at various stages of deeply frightening throughout my throughout my life here. This is just my dad's office. I mean, it's one of the more furnished areas. Sections. Like a, sort of a ceiling, kind of, <laughs> but not over yeah. there. <laughs> so. You yeah, know, my basement is the kind of basement where other members of my family wait for someone to go down there and then yeah. like, turn the lights off on them. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. I see. It's not like a dirt floor one, is it, though? Those are spooky. No, it's not that bad, but it's Spiders like... in there legendary. <laughs> yeah. But it's like just concrete flooring and like exposed foundation. Mm -hmm. and spooky vibes. Change. Yeah, you know, an elliptical. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the, 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 the those that's the that's the blueprint for for really any good basement. Like, yeah, kind of sketchy. Feel like you're gonna get murdered. Too dark. Giant spiders. Elliptical. Like, like <laughs> you need like one miscellaneous like piece of Gym. like slightly obscure exercise <laughs> equipment. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah, there's totally the... like a treadmill in the corner over there too. <laughs> yep, we got the treadmill, the the weight thing mm -hmm. that I have no idea why that, like no have. one uses ancient, either right? yeah like, like no one has weights. used in like 10 years like, yeah. yep <laughs> the reason people go into the basement like twice a year <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. we Much. dust off the elliptical see yeah. if it still works <laughs> all right in my basement, in six months that is also where my bike lives currently because mm. i have one of those thingies where you can like ride your bike indoors oh hell yeah you gotta put that thing on a trainer you know yeah yeah, yeah so you know got, we got one floating around too stay fit that and you know trick myself into exercising by listening to my spooky podcasts while there i'm on go. the bike there you go exactly multitasking multitasking baby although my entire life is just one big instance of me multitasking yeah i feel that it's impossible for me to do a single task at a time me too like it's in like mm. talking like I'll, I'll be you know talking to someone hanging out or whatever and then like a week later i'll be like ah i never finished that sentence like you know right? what i mean like where like you just like lose that train of thought like it goes somehow you start talking about something else like wait oh wait i had like a point to make and i just totally never yeah, even that's finished this that entire sentence podcast. like so long ago yeah i'm sure i'll think of yeah i'll, I'll listen to this like you know when, whenever it comes out and i'll be like ah wait a second like yeah pain. i do that to myself constantly although we are coming up on about an about hour, an hour right yeah so does anyone have any thoughts that they would just like to to put out on the internet or you know any other opinions they would like to share with the world any other radical opinions you may have yeah <laughs> i 
I don't know. I, mean, I, I see this is a thing where, like, I'm sure, like, in, like, 15 minutes or, like, maybe two weeks, I'll be like, oh, I had a thought that I wanted to share. Right? Um, well, no, nothing I can really think of actively. You're always welcome back here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was Bridget. It's good to, you know, virtually see you. And Maddie is... Yeah, it's been a, a whole so, red nice hot to meet you. Yeah, yeah, it has. It's been since... Uh, NYI Last reunion that, that the person who organized it didn't even show up. That was so funny. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that. <gasps> <laughs> that was like the, the, it was like the least cohesive hodgepodge of people from that program. It was great. It was great. It was like honestly the vibes vibe were was, it was good. It was pretty great. good. Yeah, definitely a good little impromptu reunion. I love that. that. I love that for us. Oh. But yeah, um so we're available on Twitter at uh, Bridget Kelly98 at MR five M A R and Lauren, what's your handle? Oh, my Twitter's a cesspool. I'll keep it that way. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fair. Um, <laughs> you can promote your art Insta, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the... yeah my, 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 name's, my name's Lauren. I, I'm what you might call an artist or, or a photographer. Uh, I, I do use Instagram at, at Lauren Cox Art, and I do have a, a website in which I, I share said, said discussed art, and that is deadbird.co. That is D-E-A-D-B-I-R-D dot C-O. Shall you be intrigued? So... Yeah. Awesome. I have some, con- some... I, I have concerning hobbies you can you can find out more about. <laughs> she does really awesome art and photography and it's very cool. Thank you, so thank check you, her thank out. Thank you. All right, so I that's it for plug. this week. Thank you for listening to us and thank you for continuing to be patient with us while we try and get distribution running to more than just like three platforms. And we will be back again next week for I think that's gonna be our like Christmas themed yes. episode. So that should be fun. Very right. exciting. Bye. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.